Ooh, fellow alchemists, welcome back. Today I wanted to go over uh, a new type of data type that came out somewhat recently. Uh, they have something called the ecto uh, enum data type, so it allows you to have some type of enum. The way it works behind the hood is that uh, when you serialize and deserialize to your database, you're going to get a string. But when you're working in your code, you're actually going to be using uh, atoms. So I think that's a pretty good uh, way to do something. And I like to use strings anyways in actually some other projects uh, when I store the data, uh, such as something being active, inactive, etc. I think it makes things a little bit more clear when you're looking just at the database level uh, layer itself. And I think this is a great uh, thing to have, and I'm starting to use it now in my projects. And so I wanted to go over how we can actually use this. So this is just a very typical, uh, basically a mixed project straight from uh, Elixir. And no, no Phoenix at all. So I just added uh, Ecto. So just Ecto itself, not Ecto SQL, just to kind of show you guys. Uh, and of course, I imported the schema. Sorry, I'm using uh, Ecto schema and I imported the change set function. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to just create an embedded schema. An embedded schema is basically an in-memory type of schema. And so I'm going to have a couple of fields. So basically just a name of a task. And so I started creating a task over here. And the name, of course, will be a string. Um, but the task will also have a status. And the status is going to be an enum. So because you don't want to have, you know, any kind of, you know, thing outside. So for my status, it's going to be uh, ecto enum. And for enums, you have to tell what values there are. So I'm going to say it's ready to be done. Uh, could be uh, canceled or could be done. And I'm going to write a function for change set. So in here, we need to, of course, accept the uh, task itself and the attributes that you want to add. And so I take my task, I cast some values. Uh, what I'm going to cast, of course, is the params. And I'm going to have to have basically a name and a status. <clears throat> And the validate wired. So I'm going to say I'm going to have to have name and status in here also. And that should be enough. Uh, before I start this video, I've already created these uh, functions. So what I'm going to do is try to you know create a task, use the chain set, and I have this evaluate chain set. And so if the chain set is going to be valid, then I'm going to if it's going to be invalid, I'm just going to return an error tuple. If it's valid, I'm going to return the uh, basically the struct with an OK tuple. So similar to how we do things with uh, Ecto as it is. And so when I run this, you can take a look to see how everything kind of works. So I just think I made a mistake somewhere. Oh, sorry, this one's called attributes. There we go. Now if I run this, should be good to go. There we go. And what we need to do is I'm going to call it new demo. If I take a look over here, I have to actually try to create a task. So we're first going to try to create an invalid task just to make sure it's working OK. So this will be nil, and the status will be nil. And you'll see, oops, sorry, create task. You'll see that we do have an invalid ecto chain set along with the error coming out. So that's all good. But now if I try to set, say, a name to make video, and the status to, and I can just put a straight string in here, so we can accept values from outside. Ready, and that one works just fine. I could also do cancel. That's also okay, and you see they already get changed from the string to the enum or the atom type. But if I tried to, to, to do something, I would say, instead of maybe if I made a mistake, I try to say, well, it's not ready. You'll see it becomes invalid because that has to be there. And over here, um, what we have actually is this is some more information about what's on there. But over here, you'll see that only thing that made change was just the the name and 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 value was never set because not ready is not part of the the uh, the values. You see over here the values are these ones are they're allowed, and you can also get this kind of data. Uh, if you want. So if you're going to be generating like a drop down list, uh, it's not too bad. You can use ecto enum. 
So I ecto enum values, and we say that we have our enum demo task, and we're looking for the status. And you'll see you get your list of available enums, so this will make things a little bit easier. So this is Alan from Plangoro. Please subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Bye. Hi. Please feel free to ask us any questions about Elixir, Flutter, or anything else in programming. Here's our YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll answer your questions every Friday. Ya mantai, ge duck man all. Yo wenti, ji da wen wo.